In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to connect a red and blue LED strobe light to the alarm port of a Hikvision DVR security system. This method enhances your security setup by triggering alerts based on specific events detected by your Hikvision DVR camera system. Installing this police strobe light on your property can be highly beneficial. It acts as a visual alert that can deter intruders as they approach, further enhancing your security by integrating seamlessly with your DVR system. By following the steps outlined in this video, you will learn how to connect and configure the components to ensure your strobe light is effectively integrated and ready to alert you to any security breaches. For this project, you will need a car police strobe light with a red and blue flasher, along with an optional siren or buzzer. In this demonstration, we are using a highly recommended DC 12 volt power strobe light. To power this light, we'll be utilizing a DC 12 volt, 2 amp power adapter, which is essential for optimal performance. It's worth noting that this particular strobe light does not come with a built in siren. If you require audible alerts as well, you have the option to connect a siren in parallel with the strobe light connection. This strobe light features a car cigarette lighter input plug, making it easy to use in vehicles. However, since we want to integrate it with our DVR alarm system for comprehensive security, we'll need to access the wiring inside the case. By carefully opening the case, we can expose the necessary wires to connect directly to the DVR alarm port, ensuring that the strobe light effectively contributes to our alert system. Once you open the case, you'll find two wires along with an on-off switch ready for use. For our project, we can leverage these wires to make the connections we need. To integrate the strobe light with the DVR system, connect the ends of these wires accordingly. If you wish to use the on-off switch for controlling the strobe light, be sure to connect the wires after the switch. This setup provides the flexibility to conveniently turn the strobe light on and off whenever needed, enhancing our overall security management. At this point, it's time to test the strobe light. To do this, connect the DC power adapter directly to the light. Make sure you match the red wire with the positive terminal and the black wire with the negative terminal. After you've made these connections, turn on the power adapter and see if the strobe light activates. This step is really important because it helps confirm that everything is working properly before we move on to the next part of the integration. If the strobe light lights up as it should, you'll be all set to continue with the installation. Since the strobe light is functioning as we expected, we can now move on to the next step. At this stage, you have the flexibility to use a longer cable to position the strobe light outdoors, based on your specific needs. Feel free to extend the cable length as much as necessary to ensure the best placement for visibility and effectiveness. For this demonstration, I've opted to keep it simple with a shorter cable, but it's entirely up to you how far you want to run it. Once you've connected any additional lengths of cable, make sure to securely close the case of the strobe light. It's important to protect all the joints with insulation tape to prevent any risk of short circuits. This step is crucial for safety and to maintain the functionality of the device. As shown in the video, carefully wrap the insulation tape around each connection to ensure that everything is well protected. Taking these precautions will help guarantee that your installation is both effective and safe for outdoor use. After securing everything, you can confidently proceed with the setup. Note, in this demonstration, we used a non-weatherproof strobe light, which is fine for testing purposes. However, for any outdoor applications, it's crucial to choose a weatherproof strobe light that's designed for outdoor use, models like those you'd find on bikes or cars are great options. Make sure to select one that operates at DC 12 volts to ensure it's compatible with our setup. This way, you can easily connect and use it just like we showed in the demonstration. Going with a weatherproof model is really important because it will protect the light from rain, snow, and other weather conditions, ensuring that it performs reliably over time.
Now we're ready to connect the strobe light to the DVR alarm port. This step is crucial because it allows the strobe light to be triggered by the DVR system during specific events, like motion detection or alarm activation. To assist you, the following diagram illustrates the connections you'll need to make. In the diagram, you'll see how to link the positive and negative wires from the strobe light to the corresponding alarm output terminals on the DVR. Take a moment to carefully review the diagram before proceeding. Understanding each connection is essential to prevent mistakes and ensure everything operates smoothly. The positive wire from the DC power adapter for the strobe light should be connected directly to the positive wire of the strobe light. This straightforward connection ensures that the strobe light receives the necessary power to operate effectively. Next, connect the negative wire of the DC power adapter to the ground pin of the DVR alarm out port to complete the power circuit. Finally, take the negative wire from the strobe light and connect it to alarm out port pin 1 on the DVR. This connection will allow the strobe light to be activated by the DVR system when an alarm signal is triggered. Make sure all connections are secure to ensure proper functionality. Once you have completed the connections, you can turn on the CCTV system and start configuring the events that will trigger the strobe light to warn of an intruder. Access the DVR settings menu and look for the alarm configuration section. For example, to set up the strobe light to trigger when motion is detected, you'll first need to enable motion detection within the DVR system. Begin by logging into the DVR menu using your admin account. Once you're logged in, navigate to System Configuration. From there, select Normal Event and then choose Motion Detection. In the Alarm Output tab, you can set the dwell time, which determines how long the strobe light will remain active after being triggered by events such as motion detection or an alarm condition. This setting is important because it allows you to specify the duration for which the strobe light will flash, providing a clear alert. To configure the dwell time, click on the Edit option in the Operation section, and then choose a suitable duration from the drop-down or input field. Common durations typically range from a few seconds to several minutes, so select one that aligns with your security needs. After setting the dwell time, be sure to click Apply to save your changes. Additionally, you have the option to configure the arming schedule, which enables you to set specific times for the alarm output to be active. Select the specific camera you want to configure for motion detection. Once you have chosen the camera, Look for an option labeled Enable and check the box or toggle it to activate motion detection for that particular camera. Depending on your system, you may also see settings to adjust the sensitivity or threshold for motion detection, which allows you to fine-tune how responsive the camera is to movement. Additionally, some systems offer a detection target filter, enabling you to specify certain areas within the camera's field of view where you want motion detection to be active. To use this feature, Click on the Draw Area option. Use the left mouse button to start outlining the shape of the area where you'd like motion detection to occur. You can create a square or rectangle by clicking and dragging your mouse. Once you've drawn the desired area, finalize the selection by right-clicking your mouse, ensuring that the motion detection is focused precisely where you need it. Click on Arming Schedule to set specific times and days when motion detection will be active. You can customize the schedule for each day or keep it active for all days and times, as you need. In the Linkage Action section, you'll need to select the type of alert you want to receive. To trigger the alarm output devices, check the box for Local 1 in the Alarm Output Linkage section. Additionally, you can enable the Alarm Pop-up Window option, which enlarges the camera display on the screen for a specified number of seconds when motion is detected. 
While this step is optional, we've chosen to enable it for demonstration purposes. Finally, remember to apply or save the settings to confirm your motion detection setup. Now, the DVR will trigger the alarm output devices whenever the camera detects motion activity according to the arming schedule you've configured. Instead of just motion detection, you also have the option to enable features like perimeter protection and face detection, depending on your specific needs and usage. In our channel, we will showcase more demonstrations on how to effectively use the DVR alarm input and output ports in various ways, allowing you to maximize the capabilities of your security system. Stay tuned for more practical applications and tips. In this demonstration, we've focused on connecting the DC power strobe light for a visual alert. If you want to enhance your setup with an audible alarm, such as a siren or hooter, you can connect a DC-powered siren of the same voltage in parallel with the strobe light. This way, both the strobe light and the siren will activate simultaneously when an alarm condition occurs. The following diagram will help you understand how to make this connection, showing you exactly how to wire the siren alongside the strobe light to ensure they function together effectively. Your likes and shares are incredibly important to us. They not only motivate us to create more valuable content, but they also help others find our videos. When you engage with our content, it gives us insight into which topics you enjoy the most, allowing us to keep delivering the information you want. We truly appreciate your support, and together, we can build a vibrant community of enthusiasts. Thank you for being a part of our journey.